All right, so today we're taking a look at the A10 Mic Live six channel audio mixer, which aims to simply produce pro level recordings at ease. Some of its features are a USB C audio in and out, AI Smart EQ, 24 voice effects, audio ducking, intuitive software, and more. We're going to take a deep dive on this, and I'll give you my final thoughts and opinions on it. Stick around up next. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low Flow Nose Tech back at you with another gear review. And this is the A10 Mic Live six channel AI audio mixer. And I gotta tell you off the bat, I've reviewed several of these little podcasts all in one stations. And while there's some good, there's some bad, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's something special about this one. I'm honestly, I'm not just blowing smoke right now. There's something very unique. And I really think they got something here that actually it, beco it becomes more intuitive, more convenient and just a pleasure to work with and it's just so simple i gotta tell you everything works right the first time um well so let's get into that uh first of all okay well here's our a10 mic live six channel ai audio mixer and you know you can just see as you're looking at it, it looks like an audio mixer the way the design is you know you've got like the the wedge design in the back you've you've got two xlr ports for full xlr uh you've got a trrs connection in the back here that can uh connect the external audio sources into it. Right now we have our cell phone connected to it and we'll have uh, my cell phone connected to it and we'll do some more tests on that. We have an input for or USB out that connects to your laptop or computer or whatever. And this is used to actually power the mixer or act as an input number four. So you can have audio coming from this to your laptop and also having audio coming from your laptop to your mixer. And on the side, you have two headphone jack outs, so you can have two simultaneous monitorings between you and your guests. Again, mainly, this is not mainly aimed for like a professional audio audio interface device. This is mainly for podcasting usages. Uh, so we're gonna stick within that context, uh, context for this video. You can see we got a lot of buttons here, but at the same time, not a lot because the way they set this up, again, it's very intuitive. Let's start from the top and work our way to the bottom. As it is right now, this is what it sounds like using the A10, uh, A10 mixer. Uh, I have it connected directly to my XLR mic using the 48 volts uh, connected. And at the same time, you can see how you've got some, our meters going on right here for our microphone. Uh, so you can actually see where your levels are. Uh, so this input level works for different, this input level works for several different devices as we'll go on. Let's move further down first. You've got your AI button. What the AI button does is if you're kind of afraid, if you're worried about playing with EQ or adjusting, you know, compression or whatever with your voice, the AI intelligently analyzes your voice and then gives an ideal EQ setting and compression to your voice for the best possible sound. There's three settings. There's a low, medium, high. You can try those out. But in order to get that going, all you're going to do is hold it. And then you start talking for three seconds and then it's analyzing your voice. And as it's doing that, you're going to see these lights are actually kind of they're, they're doing a sequence just waiting to actually analyze your voice. So let it do its thing. And then once it's done, you can let it go as it's still analyzing my voice and then it's done. And now what's on right now is it's the custom effect that decided to add on to my voice. So as I'm hearing right now, it brought down a lot of the noise in the background. So there's some noise cancellation. It brought a little compression, so I'm not sounding harsh, but at, at the same time, I can turn that right off and it's sounding the way it was again. Really great feature to add that. And thing is, you can add it for both microphones as well. Let's move on. You have your mute button because it does. All right, you have your 48 phantom volts, which this is something I really like about this, uh, the A10 mixer. When I say intuitive, every button has like a double function, meaning you see how it's 48 volt, but if I go to mic two, it's not, mic two doesn't have 48 volts activated, right? So you actually have to select your source and you see how mic one is, has power, I'm sorry, it has power, but if I go to here, I have no power. So if I want to actually turn on mic number two, now that has power, and I'm going to, I'll turn off mic one, and right now, what's going, the mic number two is my boom mic right above me, and you can see the levels being played right there, and if I want to, I could bring the levels for mic number two, and if I want to go back to mic number one, or two off, on and yeah and then here we go now i'm adjusting level number one all right so mic number one let's switch over mic number two i'm switching levels again it's so simple it, it just 
there goes the intuitiveness that I was talking about. All right, now you have our instruments. Within our XLR ports, we have the quarter inch uh, instrument ports that are in there. Uh, if you have like a guitar or something, you can plug it into there and you activate that by. There we go, yeah. Yeah, but once you go to in instrument, then the input level would become your instrument as well. Now we have our input uh, dial for, for inputs three and input four. Now, it's always on, but you wanna press this dial to actually control the volume of it, so you can control the input level. So as of right now, I'm gonna go right here to my phone, I'm gonna play some music. Here we go. Now, kinda loud, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to press input, highlight number three, which is input three right here. You can see the little color codes. And then what I can do is I can bring the volume down of it. So let's play our music back in. And I can play with the level with that. And down. If I want to control the volume of, uh, of input number four, I go right here and I would play whatever source that I have coming from my computer, you know, music, effects or whatever. I can control the volume of that as well. So let's go back to there and let's, um, Let's pause that and we'll get right back to the music. I'm already sounding like a podcast or a radio station, right? Now you have our main output. This is every single signal that's coming out from the A10 going directly to your, uh, to your, to your laptop or the main output here. You can control the volume of that. Uh, right now I find it very comfortable right here. Now moving over to the monitor, of course you have the headphone, the volume for your headphone monitors. Uh, if you wanted to, you, can, you could connect external speakers to the headphone jacks. But as it is right now, again, this is mainly designed for a, a run and gun podcast situation. So one person has headphones, the other person has another headphones. Uh, let's go to our mode. You'll see we have a pitch, reverb, um, male and female, and they're all color coded. What you can do right here is you can press the mode. And you can see here, we've got a, we're in, it's white, so now we're in our pitch mode. So what I can do now is, you can hear a difference. If I go all the way to the left, this adjust, this, this adjusts the intensity of the pitch. If I go all the way here, you can see how it adjusts the, the pitch from there. Let's move to reverb. As we have here, no reverb. And as I slowly move up, it, it brings up the intensity of the reverb. Then same thing, we can go to press again, go to green. We can adjust the male when it sounds like me normally. And I can go all the way to the end and it basically pitch shifts me to a stronger male voice. Press it again and it sounds like me, then we'll go all, all the way again, and now I supposedly sound like a female, which sounds more like a chipmunk. But yeah, let's turn that off. And here we go. Now, when it comes to the ducking, this is actually pretty good. I have to tell you, when it comes to devices where I've used actual ducking function, this is probably has to be one of the better ducking features that I've used in a while. So let's play some music again. All right, now, as soon as I press the duck button, Every time I speak, the music in the background will drop down as it is right now. You can hear the music just drops down considerably, considerably to a very comfortable level because when I stop talking, it comes right back up, nice, slow, and smoothly and timely. There we go. Yeah, so, oh, I, I can't even talk over because it just kind of goes, I'll talk, there we go. So yeah, so that's the ducking feature. I think the ducking feature works really well uh, when it comes to this device. Let me stop the, the music. Okay, and then we have our effects button as well. One, two, we're gonna save three. Actually, we'll go right now. So if you wanted to, well, four. So you've got all these different effects laid out on the board, which is really cool. That's awesome, right? Now, okay, thank you. Now, now here's the thing. When it comes to these effects, you can also record your own effects on top of it. This is another, this will have to say, this is, it's gotta be one of the best intuitive and easy to use boards that I've used in a while. Normally when you, when you wanna load an effect in, sometimes it's complicated, but at the same time, you really don't know when you can start. So you might have like a delay of silence before it actually records. With this, it lets you know when it's ready to record and to go. So I'm gonna hold this down. I'm gonna hold down to number three. Okay, so now it's a, it's a solid yellow or solid orange. It's letting you know that the recording device is armed. As soon as I tap, tap it, it's gonna start flashing and then, it'll, I can, and then it's actually starting recording the moment, moment that's happening. So I'm gonna tap my music and the three at the same time 
and we're going to report. All right, so now let's see what we got. Can you believe it? It's, it's super simple. I mean, that's it. I, I had to do it once and I'm like, oh, I got this. And of course, you, you can do that for any button. And then of course you have your honor output, which it sends or uh, blocks the entire thing out. Now let's try something else. <laughs> My favorite thing about these things is that you can actually make phone calls. So let's right now actually call my son. As I said before, I have my phone connected to this. I'm gonna call him right now. We're gonna see what the quality on that is. Hello. Hey, Lucas. Yeah. What's up? How you doing? Nothing good. You? I'm fine. You said nothing good? I said, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's it. I, j I just want to give you a call and just test this uh, little mixer. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. No problem. All right. Bye. bye. Seamless, intuitive, no issues at all. That's pretty much the mixer. But I got to, you know, you know how they say, but wait, there is more. Yes, there's more. There's actually a software that you can use for this on your laptop or maybe your, your, your phone or maybe even your tablet. We're gonna take a look at that right now. And here we go. This is the A10 on-ear audio. And as you see, everything that is happening on the mixer is happening right here on the, the software as well. I can control everything from the software uh, just like I can from the mixer. So I don't even have to touch the mixer. You know, it's it, it adjusts. So watch as I turn the dial, you can see that the volume changing for the microphone. And as I do it here, look at the, the lights here. You can see the lights Yeah, as I'm as I'm adjusting that. Super cool, right? I can play the effects from the bottom. Yeah, awesome, right? I can activate the second microphone. I can, I can adjust the levels of, of input number three. Yeah. It's so intuitive. And the same thing you can play with the pitch, the reverb, the male. Male and also custom as uh, as well, and of course, you can go to the custom section so you can actually play and create your own custom filtered effects uh, for your device. Echo, filter, pitch, reverb, harmony, amp, all these different things, right? And if you wanted to, you, you can also adjust the individual compression. Uh, if you want to, if you want to tinker with stuff, you can. You can play with the threshold, the ratio, the attack, release, gain, and so many things. It's just I got to tell you. Oh, and if for some reason you're not sure what to do, there's always a uh, a tutorial right here for you to go through and actually use everything. I'm telling you, I gotta tell you, this is probably one of my favorite devices when it comes to these so far. All right, so let's uh, wrap this up. I gotta tell you, yeah, I wasn't blowing smoke. I really do like this. Um, it sounds great. It's super intuitive. I mean, there, there's not really anything that you could do better, um, but I'll share some things what, what I have liked to see. Uh, number one, I wish the USB cord was a lot longer this, it being so short, I mean, it's it's nice and thick, it's sturdy, it's not gonna break, uh, but I wish it were longer to give me a little flexibility within it, because I'm, I'm tethered pretty hard to this. Uh, I wish it had a built-in battery within it. That would have been nice because, you know, let's keep it as portable as possible. Um, you know, give me a battery that, that gives me like, you know, maybe two hours recording time, including powering the microphone and, and just doing everything that I need to do. Do I need it? I don't know, but I would love to have the option. Um, maybe a recording feature within it, you know, maybe a, a USB port to connect a USB stick or maybe an SD card. That probably would have been good. I don't know if I need it, but man, just to know that I have the option, it just kind of puts it up on another level compared to everything else. And also when it comes to the, the, these buttons here, would I like more buttons for it? No, I, I love the way this looks. I wouldn't want to clutter this anymore. What I, what I would say is maybe have a function two button for let's just say we take these eight buttons and then it becomes like another eight button by a function button. Or instead of us just pressing it once, we can long press it for the second effect. Uh, but that's about it. Outside of, outside of that, guys, the, the A10U UC8000, the Mic Live 6 channel AI Auto Mixer, this has to be by far 
my favorite one of these podcasting, all-in-one podcast to go situations so far. I can't rave about this highly enough. And I'm not blowing smoke. Yeah. All right, guys, I really hope you uh, this video helped you out so much. Uh, as, always, as always, I'll be... As always, I'll leave links in the description down below. Let me know what you think about the A10UC8000. And also guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any, any future videos. Uh, hit that like if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification well, so you don't miss out on getting notified in future videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.